everybody, Fossilized here. Uh, I'm going to take this a little bit different direction than what my normal videos are. Uh, with all this, with uh, the COVID-19 coronavirus going on, um, uh, I guess I wanted to, to kind of get a discussion going uh, on some thoughts I had. Uh, I'm a retired engineer and, uh, and, and been bored lately, so some of this stuff has is, is kind of come up to my way of thinking, and I was hoping to get a little more interaction, maybe something in, in comments uh, and we can decide whether or not this is worthwhile or not. And really what I'm talking about is making some sort of a, a field expedient or improvised mask. Uh, the N95 masks are, are very difficult to come by, if not impossible right now, and the medical community needs them terribly. Um, so in all likelihood, we don't have those. Uh, I know I didn't. Um, I've, I've had a lot of food uh, in my house for a long time and uh, never even thought about masks. Uh, so, so this is kind of a new deal to me. Uh, like I said, I've been sheltering in place for about three weeks now. I've been fortunate with that. And it does occur to me that at some point I'm going to have to get out. And how am I going to protect myself? Because I'm obviously in the, uh, in the danger group uh, for the coronavirus. Uh, so I, I got digging around my house. And unfortunately, the only, only mask I came up with was one of these old paper 3M masks that um, I guess work good for what they're for. I use it for yard work and have not used it. You know, it's been winter. haven't used it for a while. And the thing is just wore out. The little rubber bands have, have gotten brittle and broken off. And the inside of it is just pretty, you can't hardly see it, but it's pretty funky doody, doodle and nasty. And uh, because of the wear, I don't know how much good this would actually do me if I was to take the time to try to repair it and, and clean it because I don't want to breathe in the stuff now. Uh, so anyway, I am not wasn't in good shape in that case. Um, so I came up with some ideas for some, some improvised masks, and this is what I wanted to throw out there and kind of get some people's responses. Um, maybe, you know, again, I want to point out, first of all, I have no ties to any kind of medical knowledge other than the Internet like you guys do. Um, I, I can't endorse any of these products. I'm not going to be the one to tell you they're going to protect you. I, my personal opinion is I think anything is better than nothing. Um, you know, you could go to a, a park that has trees scattered around, and if you close your eyes and run headlong, you're probably going to run into a tree anyway, or at least that would be my luck. And that's kind of the idea of these masks, because the, the particle size of these viruses is so tiny, like 125 uh, nanometers, so or, or like one and a quarter microns. So they're, they're tiny little, little things. Um, the beauty is they don't seem to just float around in the air by themselves, or at least so, so I'm told. Um, so they, they are, are stuck in like uh, the, the particles when you sneeze or the little droplets. Uh, I don't know if they cling to dust particles or not. If they did, then that, that's another thing that if you could filter out a dust particle that has viruses on the back, and I'm not saying they are, I don't know, but, uh, you know, so much the better. Uh, and anything, it, anything's better than nothing, I would think, um, unless it makes you overconfident and then you do stuff you shouldn't do anyway. But uh, anyway, we wanted to go through and kind of talk about some of the stuff I looked at. So looking around my house, I had an old CPAP mask and these little cleaning pads. Uh, neckerchief, rubber bands, um, like regular dish towels, things like that. And I just kind of threw some of these things together uh, to see see what I could come up with. And the CPAP mask actually seemed to me to be my favorite option. Again, don't know how good this is, but I, I really liked the way it, it looked and felt and, and you know, kind of went. So I have this little terry, terry cloth pad, uh, took some scissors and tried to cut it to fit the mask a little better. And uh, this is basically just terry cloth with, with a, like a foam uh, inside so it's just a, an open open cell foam uh, you can breathe through it pretty easily uh, I don't know how much protection it offers I was also curious about if I was to wet that that pad does that make it better would that make it more likely to adhere to little dust particles before they get to my face or, or would that actually through some sort of uh, liquid diffusion actually defeat the purpose and I don't know the answer to that so anyway you just squeeze that in there it covers the uh, the entry air hole uh, you wear it. It's it's very good as far as fit and comfort. And uh, again, most American or not most, but a lot of Americans my age are, are using CPAP. So maybe you have a mask, an old mask laying around or something like that. So it seemed to work pretty well. That's that's probably going to be my go-to when I go out. Um, another thought is almost all houses are going to have some sort of uh, dish towels or neckerchiefs or something. So so looking at the dish towel, trying to trying to play with that a little bit and coming up with a mask idea. Um, because I have this little stupid thing I do with, with napkins in restaurants where I make a, a what looks like a rubber chicken. But <laughs> so that kind of gave me the idea here. 
but uh, you just fold your disc towel. Uh, I use thirds. Uh, your mileage may vary. You might want to try, you know, your own own type thing. Then you put a rubber band about a, a quarter of the way down on either side of this of this uh, folded up uh, dish towel, and that that gives you what we see right here. So you got this dish towel with two rubber bands on it. Uh, you fold over at the rubber band, and then if you take the cloth, you can actually insert it together uh, to kind of make it a, a nice little loop loop of cloth. If I can, uh, you can see I'm having a little difficulty uh, trying to do that here. Uh, but anyway, once that's there, you can now place that on your face, and, and you've got multiple layers of that dish towel. Again, I don't know if wetting makes it better or worse, but then you can put the rubber bands around your ears, and, and voila, you have a really funny-looking but uh, you know, filter mask of some sort. Again, don't know how good that is, but, but it's something. It's something. Uh, finally, uh, I had a neckerchief because I used to do cowboy action shooting, so... Uh, you know, a lot of you ladies will have scarves, things like that. I went ahead and folded it in a triangle, and I took my other little uh, cleaning pad, just a little the terry cloth and foam pad, and uh, inserted it in there, and folded folded it all up so the pad would actually set over your over your face, and then you just put it on like you would a regular neckerchief and tie it. Of course, you look like a, a, a cowboy outlaw ready to rob a bank, but uh, you know, nonetheless, I wanted to wanted to get something you know, in there. So maybe, maybe that would give you some protection as well. Um, so anyway, what I, what I really want to do with this video is not to say, go do this. It'll protect you because I can't say that. But, uh, anyone that does know, uh, please feel free to throw something out in the comments. Maybe they see the ideas we could work off of. Uh, again, in my opinion, I think masks, some sort of mask is better than no mask at all. If nothing else, you can't, you can't touch your nose and mouth with, with these contraptions on. But, uh, anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, you know, throw something out in the comments and uh and we'll go from there and and hopefully this this does some good uh again just kind of a stream of consciousness i wanted to throw out there um so so everybody please continue to stay safe hang in there we'll get through this you know in time uh and protect yourself as best you can so anyway until until next time fossilized out <laughs>